it's a long way to the top. But if you take it step by step, you'll make it. Let's climb that VO ladder with our hosts, Troy Holden and Will Vincent. Welcome back to the VO Ladder. Troy Holden here in the heart of Tennessee. Will Vincent here in the dirty, buried, snowy north. (laughs) (laughs) Wonderful, wonderful. It's uh, nice how uh, modern things are. We can connect all the way across the country and talk about things. And sound like we're in the same room. It is. It's really cool and uh, really cool. So, I'm a VO. What now? Uh, you what? asking me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What next? I mean, I, I'm telling everybody I'm a, I'm a VO. I'm a voiceover actor, voiceover artist. So, what do I do now? Well, what have you tried? <laughs> hmm. Well, I got my shingle out. I got my website up. I got my demo, my semi-pro demo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm on some platforms. I'm trying very hard to get work, um, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm, a, I'm at that stage now. I'm not really sure where my focus needs to go next. I feel like I'm in a feel like I'm a, uh, a ant in a wash tub. Maybe that's a good way <laughs> to put it. I'm in there going all over the place, and I'm not really getting anywhere. So, but. You know, like a lot of others, I still work a full-time job. Me too. So how many hours in the day and night can I commit to? And, you know, when I'm not getting orders and I'm not recording, but I have VO time, what should I be doing with that time? Yeah. Well, that is the question, isn't it? So I think there's a a handful of things that you could do um, actively. So... Obviously, you can always audition on ACX. There are always books to audition for. That would be a thing you could actively be doing every single day. Mm-hmm. Guilty, However, I don't do that. Do you want to do audiobooks? Maybe you don't. It's a lot of work. Hmm. So, short stories, I might could, but I don't really want to go. I, I don't want to do the uh, 10, 12 hour things. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with I you. Because I don't, honestly, I don't read that much. On my own, anyway. So, yeah, that's and, and, and that's really a prerequisite, I think, to, to doing an audiobook because you've got to love to read. Because um, mm-hmm. a lot of times you're going to end up reading that book twice. You're going to pre read it, and then mm-hmm. you're going to go back and read it aloud. And then you might come back right. and read it again to do some pickups and fix some stuff. But, that's you know, true. if you're talking a 10 hour book, I mean, that could easily be 100 hours of work. 150 hours mm-hmm. of work. I've heard that. You know, I've heard I've, I've heard some miracle stories where people say, well, all you have to do is double it. Uh, yeah. If you're, not if starting you're lucky, out. Especially yeah. for something that long, you know, or especially something that long that is, uh, you know, a novel, nonfiction with lots of characters. And mm-hmm. you got to come up with all the different character voices. You got to keep those straight. There's a lot yeah. of work goes into that. So, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I don't think I want (laughs) to, I'm not, certainly not ready to, and I don't know that I'll ever want to tackle, you know, a a 5, 10, 15 hour book. Um, That's just too much work. (laughs) Yeah, you just, you just scared me off of it with remembering the character voices. I I can hear the guy. Or I can see the email now. How come he was a cowboy in chapter one and he's a Irishman in chapter eight? Oh, oh wait, shoot, that's the same guy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And and if you're uh, if you're out there churning, we're talking about ACX. Another way you can churn, and I know Will hates it, and and there's times I do too, is Upwork. But it's 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 dirty work. It's hard. Um, but there's another one you can do proposals. Mm-hmm. And you can practice by putting those in, but for God's sake, copy paste because you know if you're putting a lot of those in, it can get old or get a text expander yeah, or well, and, something that does. You snippets. Know, the thing with Upwork is most of that is just data entry. You know, you're you're not right. at least I don't think you're. Maybe this is why I failed on it. Uh, I, I have had zero luck with Upwork to the point that I'm just done with it. I'm not even going to try with Upwork anymore. Um, <clears throat> but what I found for for the proposals is you're basically just filling out a form and uploading, you know, your existing demo MP3 and then linking off to, to more stuff. And that's it. 
you know, so you're not actively auditioning, you're not practicing your delivery, you're not doing any of that stuff. So, very true. I mean, that's something you could do if you really have nothing else going on, or if you just want to sit and putter yeah. around with something true. while you're sitting on the couch watching a movie or something, you know. Right. It doesn't take a whole right. lot of mental capacity and certainly not any, you know, verbal ability because you're yep. not actually doing anything. Fiverr has wow. something similar in its buyer, buyer requests. And mm-hmm. if you're not using the mm-hmm. buyer requests on Fiverr, you need to start. There, A lot of stuff on mm-hmm. there is just terrible. A lot of stuff that you'll see, if you see anything, because as a non-leveled seller, you'll be lucky if you see about 10 things a day. And a lot of those will not match you at all. Um, Mm -hmm. Might still be worth sending a a message anyway, saying, hey, I know I'm not, you know, what you're looking for. But if you happen to need, you know, in my case, an American male voice or, you know, somebody else might be a British female, whatever. Here, you know, you can contact me should that need arise. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it could be nothing wrong. Could be they're looking for a female voice, but you send in a male audition or a male sample and they go hmm well, i hadn't thought of it but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll give them a shot you never know mm-hmm. um yeah it, it, you definitely could click the switch that they they have female on the brain and now they've heard a male voice and they right. go hey i like that better and I mean, there's not really any insight for sure to back up the rumors but we operate kind of under the assumption that if you're using the uh buyer request responses that you have available to you, which I think is 10 every day for everybody, if you're using those regularly, it probably juices your ranking a little bit. It shows Fiverr that you're serious about things that, you know, you're putting in some effort. So maybe Mm -hmm. they'll reward you by bumping you up a little bit higher in the search results. Don't know. Because right. nobody knows right. how the search r- rankings work, but it's certainly <laughs> not going to hurt anything. And no, you'll no, prob- activity's got to count yeah, well, for And you'll probably end up getting a couple of gigs. Now, the thing with, mm-hmm. the, with the buyer requests, especially early on, is you probably are going to end up just giving away the farm. Give them everything. Oh, Give yeah. them, you know, you, at least the number of words you normally offer, maybe double that, maybe quadruple that. Give them all the rights, give them music, give them whatever for five bucks, especially early on mm-hmm. to get those first couple of yep. things, because then you start the ball rolling, you start getting some reviews and you start getting things going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the way yeah. it works. It's definitely the way it works. And in Will's defense, I'm going to say this because uh, we were talking about this offline. Somebody's going to say, well, he's awfully negative about Upwork. No, he's not. He's not being negative. There are those of us in this world that we analyze and we look at things and we weigh it out and we say that's worth it or it's not worth it. It doesn't mean it won't work for you or you or that Mm -hmm. guy. It just means he doesn't like it and he's not going to mess with it. He's going to concentrate on something else. So you're going to hear that from both of us. We are both realist and we will encourage you in whatever you're going to do just because we're not doing it doesn't mean you won't have success. People have success oh, yeah. on Upwork. Some do. But for some of us, it's a, it's an agitation more than it is, uh, uh, you know, getting the yeah. result. Now, that's not to say in a year that won't change if you hang in there with it. I don't know. Hadn't been on there that long. You know, I started in June. Mm-hmm. And last year, I was actually working on my taxes today last year, and I was very surprised. I had $3,300 from Upwork. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you what, a lot of that was five and ten dollar YouTube, and <laughs> a that's lot a of lot it. of ten dollar YouTube's. Uh, <laughs> it it is. I mean, when you look at you got a channel, you've done sixty five episodes. Yep. You know that, and if they're and they're giving you the ten dollar credit a piece, well, there's six fifty of it right there. So, and there's two more channels I was doing. One of them uh, we parted ways because we weren't agreeing on scripts, but. I did 30 scripts before that happened, and he was paying 10 bucks. So, you know, over I'm sure over half of that was YouTube yeah. junk. Yeah, so I mean, but, yeah, uh, I, I know. would not by any means turn anyone away from Upwork. Have at it. There are people who are making a killing there. It just doesn't work for me for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. And I find it kind of funny because lately I've seen a lot of people having issues even just getting an account. Like they ha- they're not able to become yes. sellers for whatever well, reason. We, we know someone. We know someone. Several, several she, people. 
she got rejected and then later somehow went back and got it fixed, mm-hmm. but they flat out just said no. Wasn't the answer was we're not taking any new people right now? It's something like that. It's uh, I think it's it was something, something like that. It wasn't worded yeah, it was something to the but, effect of, well, somebody else, there, there was somebody else just even more recently, just last week, I think. Um, it was something to the effect of with the number of people that we already have and how many applications we get daily, we have to be very selective about who we allow on the platform. Something uh, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's what it was. It's We're going to pick a, and choose. A nice way of saying, get out of here. You know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I find it kind of funny because so, I had no issue getting on there whatsoever, but I haven't had any yeah, luck either. at all getting any any jobs. So... It's like I had better luck the first three months that I was on there. June, July, and August, I did pretty well. September, it slowed down. And that was when I got on Fiverr. And Fiverr did terrible in September. It was okay. October, November, December were good. And then it's over. So, and there are other platforms. So if you've got time on your hands, Voquent. uh, Voquent is interesting. Voquent is very passive. At least for the moment. Mm -hmm. And I'll circle back to that in a second. So Voquent, you have 30 slots that you can upload samples to. And the more that you upload, the better visibility you have to potential buyers. So they suggest that you do all of them. And you want them to all be across different tones. They've got, I think, seven different tones. Um, And then within Mm -hmm. those, there's different characteristics but you want to cover as many of those different combinations of things as possible um because that again boosts how visible you are and and what have you now the other thing is that if you link back to their site from your website and then send them a message about it they'll give you another 15 so you could get up to 45 Hmm. um i have not done that yet because uh, well, I just finally got my website online, <laughs> which there's yes, and there is no excuse is, for that since you know clean. that's basically what I do for a living is build, build web applications. But well, it's I, I, I got a good look at it the other day, I like you. it, I like the one page and I, uh, uh, the the size of, of the uh, audio player and everything. I'm I'm uh. I'm jealous because, of course, I'm using an over-the-counter, I guess you call it, and everything in there is huge. And I, I don't know. Sometimes I think they do that because it's PC for dummies, and I am what I am. But, uh, yeah, it's very neat. Uh, it reminded me of, you know, I, I think I'd sent you a link about that audio player that they were mm-hmm. pushing on a podcast I heard. And, and it very much resembled that. And and you mentioned there were some free ways to do that. And that's I, I've got to dig into that later. I need to refresh or refinish that. And I know when my business is to a certain point, I have to do that. But I don't want to wait till it's too late. So, yeah, so that's just the other so thing. So you're and, aware, everything on mine is free, including yeah. the hosting, actually. Yeah. The only thing that I'm paying for for my website is um, – form submission handler for uh for the contact form although i just Mm -hmm. paid yesterday and i will never have to pay for that again unless i exceed two thousand submissions a a month um because the the thing i'm using the app that i'm using for that um had just joined app sumo and as an introductory deal they were offering a lifetime membership for 50 bucks which normally will be 120 which is still a good deal that's a deal life um, yeah. So yeah, I got it for fifty bucks. It's called uh, Form Cake, and uh, it's just a standalone web application that you know you you set up your form, what fields are going to be passed, and then what you want to do with the data once it comes in. So in my case, I have it send mm-hmm. me an email with a template that I define mm-hmm. in their system, and um, and that's it. Then you just in in the form on your web page, you just use the the link that they provide as the form action hmm. where it posts to and that's it it works it's fantastic he makes it look yeah, so it easy. really is easy that's the thing it, it's, it is. it's 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 like it's, it's, it's like anything it, you have to learn it once you learn it there it's you go not difficult there you go um right I, i'm the same way that's like 
that's why I, I you know I downloaded Reaper. We mm-hmm. talked about uh, dolls a few weeks ago. I've downloaded. I have. I haven't done anything yet because I'm. I got to quote unquote learn it. I'm not going to use something I don't know how right. to use. I'm going to keep using what I'm using, but I want to learn it and I want to make some improvements in some of the other things. Other things you could be doing also, especially early on. What about your mm-hmm. room? You know, have you gotten your room right? Do you need more blankets? Do you need foam? You know, are, are you having issues with your sound floor or your noise floor? Uh, is your environment the best it can be? The answer um, is probably no. That's another no. thing to work on. <laughs> it, it, exactly. For And even this room being built and, and all, I've still got an exterior wall that's causing issues. So I've got to go out and pull sheetrock off and put rock wool in it. Um, there's always something to do like that if you're not mm-hmm. busy. Um, another thing is all these uh, pages and things you can get in and learn, uh, pick up hints, you know, read through. Go to the search bar, whether it's who's ever page. Go to the search bar and put something in that you're curious about, and you'll you'll probably find it. You don't have to go in there and ask. If you'll search it, it's probably been talked about 75 mm-hmm. times. In fact— in so fact, if you're not in that habit info. yet, get in that habit. Search first, then ask. Because there's yes. nothing <laughs> it's nothing more frustrating to people who are regulars in a forum, whether that's a Facebook group or or a you know a web based mm-hmm. forum or whatever it is, than answering the same question over and over and over and over again. I agree. I agree. And, and all that would have to be done to prevent it from happening is for people to search. So First yep. things first, you hard. have a question about something, search it. If you yep. can't find answers, then ask. But search first. Right. <laughs> exactly. It gets old. Oh, gosh, it gets old. And if you're not practicing and reading and interacting with other people, don't just sit around and wait for work. You're not going to get right. it. You got to do something to make yourself better. So go download stuff off of iSpot TV. And, and uh, you know, write it down and play it back and listen to how the, the inflections are and where they are and what words are keyed on. And apply that to something you read for somebody that's not rehearsed. Mm-hmm. Look, you know, I, I'm learning, and this is a hard thing for me to learn because I feel like I don't have time to do anything sometimes. So when I sit down to do Voices.com auditions, I want to make myself read that script twice all the way through and really think about what I'm reading and focus on it. So when I go to record it, I'm not off guard. I'm not unfamiliar. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be overly familiar, but I want to be familiar enough that I'm, you know, like today I had a word and I can't remember re something, re class or whatever it was, but it can be said two different ways when you see the word. Mm -hmm. You would either say reclassification or I, I don't know. I don't remember. What well, the a good word example was. for that would be but, read, right? R E A D. It can be read. It can be read. Read or read. Yes, exactly. So you need to know that before you go in, or you're going to be having to stop, back up, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, reread or or whatever. Uh, um, that's you know, that's just another thing I'm trying to teach and train myself. Um, And the other thing, you know, can you afford coaching? If you have time for coaching and you can afford coaching, if you're making some money with your VO work and you don't need that money to live off of and you're keeping that over here separate, build up, you know, some money for coaching and get a good coach that can help you with whatever you need help Mm -hmm. with, Um, whether it's the conversational read, whether it's work on your demo, whatever it is. Uh, and you can also find several that will critique you and help drive you in a certain direction. Because if they've done it long enough and they're good at it, they can really help yeah. you. Yeah. I would say the other thing about um, practicing and auditioning, it's important to try and understand what it is that the client is looking for. Because you can give a read that you Mm -hmm. love that sounds fantastic, but if it's not what they're looking for, you're not going to win that. 
Right. So it's important to try and get in their mindset of, you know, what, what do they want to hear and deliver mm-hmm. that, um, which yep. is a little bit easier on, on voices.com versus like yes. Fiverr or something because they provide yep. that usually. So we're looking for, you know, mm-hmm. this, this particular, <laughs> this is your role and these are the sounds and, yep. you know, sometimes it goes more in depth than that. Well, a lot of times you get a YouTube video. Yep. You know, they'll attach a YouTube video. And it was funny, uh, last week I got the same Dodge Ram Sam Elliott one attached to I don't know how many that I that I auditioned for. And I thought, why? You know, they were saying they wanted a – they didn't ask for a deep voice. They said, we want a uh, a unique sound in da-da-da-da-da. And then here, here's Sam Elliott. And then I go to the next one, and it's like, well, we want a – it was actually a blue collar. We want a blue collar working guy, Texas type, blah, blah, blah. Well, there was that Sam <laughs> Elliott commercial again. So, uh, gosh, everybody wants Sam Elliott or a Morgan Freeman. Except for, <laughs> except for this one. So this is one I did. The first yeah. one I did today, the description was, you're Terry, the owner of an esoteric bookstore in Joshua Tree, California. I mean, that's very specific, right? You have lived many <laughs> lives, are well-educated, and truly believe in the phantasmagorical and mystical. I'm like, okay, <laughs> what does that sound like? <laughs> You've lived many yep. lives. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. But uh, the, Yeah, I, and the Fiverr stuff and the other stuff, you don't get direction hardly ever. Ask for it. Yeah. Um, put that in your... your um, uh, the questions that they have to answer doesn't back, mean you'll get you it. You know, to say but you absolutely need right, to ask. If you right, don't but, ask, you but won't. You ask. You should ask. You definitely should ask. If there's a certain tone they're looking for, or a certain pace, or is there some voice they've heard mm-hmm. before? And a lot of times they'll come back and tell you, "Do it like the such and such on yep. your demo." I liked your Toyota voice. Yeah, okay. I've had that, and that's I've a had big that help. several times recently where they've they've sent me either an mp3 of some part of what of one of the things i did or mm-hmm. um the one yesterday he sent me a screenshot of the specific thing in my portfolio that i'd done for somebody else you know the live portfolio mm-hmm. on fiverr mm-hmm. he sent me a screenshot of the specific right. one said i want that like, okay there you go there you go that'll work the other thing is our page offers uh, – there's a button on there you can click and, and ask someone to help mentor mm-hmm. you. Um, I've got somebody right now that's that we're, we're working together a little bit, and we've only had one little 30-minute uh, Zoom thing, and it was mainly to do with, uh, with Upwork because he was wanting to understand how Upwork operated. He wanted to get on Upwork. Um, you know, and and we're all we're here for that. And I'm not going to load myself up with six people. There's no way. But if I can help a couple people, I'll sure help. Will's mm-hmm. willing to help. That's why the button's yep. there. I mean, if we can help, let us yep. know. And we've got our. And there may be someone else that wants to, you know that wants to be a part of this. If you want to mentor somebody, let us know. We'll you know we'll definitely keep you in mind because we you know we want to help as many people as we yep. can. If you're in the group, actually, you can set you can sign yourself up to be a mentor. So if you want there to you go. And it doesn't just have to be VO. You could mentor people on anything else. You want to mentor people on uh, email marketing or how to build a good social media presence, you know, stuff like that. Those are all super valuable skills yep. that not everybody has. Yep. So we're there to help. And uh, we're trying to help also by throwing these podcasts out there. And this one is about ready to come to oh. an end. So the number one thing we want to tell you is just don't expect work to fall in your lap. If you're not busy, do Mm -hmm. something. You know, maybe you used to be in radio. You might get a jump start. You might have to learn to lose your announcer voice and not make everything sound like this. I hear that some of the uh, some of the people overseas, like some of the Southeast Asian countries, they they really like like that voice. They do like it. And, you know, I think it's going to eventually oh, come back a little more. Everything I'm does. seeing it a little more. I'm seeing announcer a lot more in uh, VDC, mm-hmm. so maybe. But, hey, although we, uh, you know, we're hearing all this stuff all day, every day, uh, you know, hey, a smooth voice, a, a smooth voice is a great benefit, but a strong work ethic will get you there. Keep keep grinding and keep reaching 
and don't give up. Uh, you know, don't don't think because you're not getting orders, you can't work and improve yourself. You can. You need to. Yeah. Any great final advice, Will, before we move on? Uh, it's not all about your voice. Um, and your voice is an instrument. You can learn to play it better. Ah, I like so. it. Your voice is an instrument. I like it. All right, folks. Hey, thanks for joining us, and we'll be back soon. We drop episodes normally on Mondays, and uh, we look forward to helping you out. Uh, I think it's time for old Tater to go feed. Will, take care. Until next time. See you later, Tater. The Voice Over Ladder is available on Spotify, Apple, and Google. Be sure and subscribe so you don't miss an episode, because we may drop one at any moment. Do we know what we're doing? (laughs) Not really. But we are learning and making progress one rung at a time as we all climb the VO ladder. Thanks for listening to The Voice Over Ladder. This podcast is not instructional, but it's a conversational pile of opinions on what has or hasn't worked for some people. It's just advice and nothing's guaranteed. And like life, You try some things out and you see what happens. We do appreciate you listening, though, and look forward to your comments on our podcast and ideas you might have for future shows. And until then, keep on grinding.